Brian, you've been here as a player and manager and loans manager and now player pathway manager. Just explain to us what that means. Yeah, it's just putting all the things I do together, really. It's, um, it'll involve with the first team recruitment, the academy recruitment, um, still loaning players out. What is the contract situation with our young players to keep them in the right positions? Um, what players need to maybe who are doing well in the 18s to play in the 23s? So it's just putting a, what I do really into one role so everybody's clear and then we can continue the good work everybody's doing in the academy. Will you still be clocking up the miles? I think you went to Gillingham on Tuesday to see Robbie Cundy. Will you be going around the country? Yeah, very much. It's really important when these lads go out that they know we're still really interested in what they're doing. And it was great to see Robbie make his League One debut the other night and play ever so well and the team win. So, yeah, that won't change. I'll be watching them very closely. I'll be watching our young teams, 15s, 16s, 18s, 23s, and making sure everything... And for the players, really, they're the most important. And can we do everything to get them players where we want them to be? That link between the academy, between Gary Probert, academy manager, Dean, Paul Simpson, Keith, etc., who know young players as well yeah. as you do, yeah. um, how critical will that be? Massive. I've got a really close relationship with Gary Probert, a real trust. Um, I've got a real trust with the manager here, Dean Alden, and the, all the staff. So we've, we're really close. There's no academy and first team now. We're all together. And um, I'm hoping I can keep that really close and be that link. And along with all the staff at the academy, we're really striving to, to make things even better. You know, we're in a good position. We've got things happening here that we want them to happen, like the young players who are, are progressing and doing extremely well. So we want that to keep going and get even better. There's a lot of work goes into developing homegrown players. When you see, you know, an average of six across all games, five in the league, in our squads this season how much does that encourage you oh it's exciting you know there's a real buzz in the academy at the minute with the staff and the players because obviously the players the young players in the academy see it happening and they think there's a real chance for them in the future so it's a fantastic achievement by everyone you know it's a it's a good team ethic we've got in the academy and it works all the way up to 23s and then when we get to the first team the lads are, are really enjoying the the experience and as we said the uh, paul simpson and keith down they're great coaches of young players and developers of young players and it's it's all really coming together nicely. I think there's 93 accumulative appearances across the season, 72 in the league. Um, when you sat there, you know, lucky enough to be in the stadium, uh, give you a sense of pride? Oh yeah, 100%. You know, Zach Viner has been on a long pathway for that. You know, he's been at the academy since he was nine, ten years of age. He's been to Accrington, he's been to Plymouth, he's been to Rotherham, he's been to Aberdeen. Um, to do the hard work to get where he is now and he's he's really flourishing you know Antoine's the same he's went to Newport he went to Sunderland to find out what it's all about and learn and they're, they're flourishing now you know Tyreek Bakenson the same Max O'Leary you know it's brilliant to see young Sam Bell coming on and getting some game time and War Edwards up at Grimsby this season he's gone and worked hard and played 20 times and learnt the game so yeah it's, it's really exciting and we've got so much more to come you know we've got so many good young players in our academy that we're really really excited about those players will be training on these new pitches and in seven weeks in that building we can hopefully see behind us in the mist you trained on this pitch i think 20 odd years ago when it was a field um how encouraged are you by what you've seen up here oh it's an unbelievable facility you know it's a game changer for us we'll all be in the same building you know, we'll be training alongside each other every day. We'll be talking every day about our young players. It's uh, it's so exciting. As you say, I, I turned up here 20 odd years ago and trained on a field behind us and to look what's here now and the, the facilities and what these young players have got to, to learn the trade and, and all be so close together and work together as a team, as an academy and a first team in the same building is gonna be a game changer for us. And we're in a good place now been on two separate sites which not it's not ideal but now we're going to be really really close and it's gonna it's gonna get even better how are you going to split your time being on the road at under 23 games and we're doing well in that professional yeah. development league obviously having an eye and, and talking to dean are you gonna split brian tinian in mo many ways yeah no i'm looking forward to it you know it's something I've, i do anyway so it's just as i said before the rule is now everything i do and uh and it's a big thank you to everybody who's been involved setting this role up I'm really excited about it, I'm um, pleased about it and uh, it's, 
it's so exciting because you know how many young players are coming through and we know have got a real good chance of playing for Bristol City and that's the drive that you get up every morning and want to come to training and this will make it even more with this building behind and we're so excited for the future.